Good morning, Year 7. So today is the first lesson of our remote learning. So what I want you to do in all of these videos that I'm going to be putting on for you is I want you to have your maths book out and you need to copy everything that I'm putting on the board. So anything that appears on the board, you're going to copy in your workbook. So you just have to pause the video and give yourself time to copy everything down. But I want you to listen to my explanation of everything as well. So you can replay this video as many times as you like, pause it when you need to. Everything has to be copied in your book, but you also need to be listening to my explanation. So maybe listen to the explanation first and then go back and do it again and then copy the notes off the board. Okay, so let's see how we go. We're up to time differences in the topic we're on. So you're just going to continue in your workbook where we were. So to start with, you're going to write down the heading time differences and the heading examples. So the first thing that we're going to be doing today is actually working out the difference between one time and another. This is really badly done in tests. Okay, it will sort out those of you that need to be moving up a class if you can manage to be able to understand this work. Okay, so first we'll start with a few of the easier ones, but there's still lots of tricks in them. So make sure you've got your calculator ready because we're going to need it. Okay, so we're going to calculate the time difference between 7.15 p.m. and 8.20 p.m. You'll notice both of these times are p.m. times. So we're not crossing over from an a.m. to a p.m. or p.m. to an a.m. We're staying both on p.m. times. So what I want you to do is copy down the first time that I give you. So if you copy down 7.15 p.m. Then the next time we're going to write down is the next hour. Okay, so after 7.15 p.m., the next hour would be right on 8 p.m. After that, you're going to write down our final time which is 8.20 p.m. So what we're going to do then, what I've done in red here, is write down the gaps or the differences between the first time and the second time. Okay, so we've got 7.15 p.m. to 8 p.m. How much time has there been from 7.15 p.m. to 8 p.m.? So if you think about that, you know there's 60 minutes in an hour. 15 of the minutes have already gone. So we've got 45 minutes till we hit 8 o'clock. Okay, so our time difference here is 45 minutes. Then when we look at 8 p.m. and go to 8.20 p.m., this bit's easy. Right? The time difference between 8 p.m. and 8.20 p.m. is 20 minutes. So now what we have to do is add these two red times together. Now you can try and do that yourself if you like, if you think you're really good with time. You might go, well I'm going to add those together, just do that on my calculator, 45 plus 20, that'll give me 65 minutes. On a question like this, 65 minutes is fine, because they're just saying what's the time difference? You can say 65 minutes, but some questions will say what's the difference, give your answer in hours and minutes. So then you're going to have to know that 65 minutes is actually 1 hour 5 minutes. Because remember, there's 60 minutes in 1 hour, and then we've got 5 minutes after that. So 1 hour, 5 minutes. But your calculator can be used, but only if you use it correctly. So let's have a look. So this is what we want to do. We want to do 45 minutes plus 20 minutes. You know that you can use this button on your calculator. You all know where that button is now. So 45 minutes, you can't just press 45 and then that button, okay? Because it thinks you mean hours, all right? We don't mean 45 hours. So we put in zero hours, 45 minutes. So we press zero, then that key, the bubble key, 45, the bubble key, then we're going to add on the next bit, which is 20 minutes. So that's 0 hours, 20 minutes. So once you've pressed all this into your calculator, press equals, your, key, your answer will come up as 1 with a little circle thing, that's 1 hour, and then 5 with another little circle thing, that's minutes. So 
That's one hour, five minutes. You can get it straight off the calculator if you remember to put your zero hours in first. Okay, let's try another example. Okay, so this time we're finding the time difference between 4.09 a.m. and 9.53 a.m. They are both a.m. times. So we're going to write the first time down, 4.09 a.m. Then we're going to write down the next hour, which is right on 5 a.m. Then we're going to jump all the way to the last time, which is 9.53 a.m. Now in red, remember, we're going to get all the differences, all the time differences. So from 4.09 a.m. to 5 a.m., 60 minutes an hour, 9 minutes is already gone. We have 51 minutes left. Then from 5 a.m. to 9.53 a.m., we've got 4 hours and 53 minutes. So now we need to add these up. Now remember what you do with your calculator. You have to put hours in first, then minutes. So for this first one, it's zero hours, 51 minutes, plus four hours, 53 minutes. Your calculator, if you press equals, it'll tell you it's five hours and 44 minutes. Now the next one is harder because this involves a change from AM to PM. Alright, so we have what is the time difference or the difference in time, same thing, underline the important words, between 10.42 a.m. and 2.13 p.m. So again, we write down 10.42 a.m. Take it to the next hour, 11 a.m. Now the difference with these ones is we have to go pass into the midday first, all right? So we have to take it to 12, because otherwise we're going to get ourselves very confused if we don't. And then we can take ourselves to the last time of 2.13 p.m. So there's one extra step in these harder ones where you have an a.m. and a p.m. So from 10.42 a.m. to 11 a.m., that's 18 minutes. From 11 a.m. to midday, 12 p.m., is one hour, no minutes, just one hour. From 12 p.m. midday to 2.13 p.m., it's two hours, 13 minutes. So we've got three lots of times we have to add up, but the calculator can do this as long as we remember to put in hours first, minutes second. For this first one, no hours. So it's zero hours, 18 minutes, plus, one hour. You don't have to say zero minutes after that. If you want to, you can. It'll still give you the same answer. And this one, plus two hours, 13 minutes. Press equals at the end. Don't forget to press equals at the end. Always press equals at the end. And you will get the answer. 3 hours, 31 minutes. So I'm going to come back in the next video for today's lesson and do some more examples with you.